Hi, <clears throat> and welcome to our video review session this week with No Bones About It and Mochi. Come in, Mochi. Come in, Mochi. So, Mochi <coughs> is so funny. I've got a little bit of a crackly throat, so we'll see how I make it through this video. Um, come here, buddy. So. One of the ways that we elicit behavior um, most often is by doing what we call luring. Luring is just a way to get the dog to move in a particular direction. So we could use a treat or a toy or a hand motion or something that the dog will follow. Touch. And this is so typical of Mochi. Touch. He's like, I don't know if I really want to move towards you. Touch. Yes. Good job. Very nice. Good one. So we've been trying to introduce Down this week, and I'm my contractor, Sarah, this is so helpful for videos. So I've been trying to introduce Down this week, and normally what we do is a method called Say It, Show It, Pay It, where we say what we want, which is Down. We show the dog by and it, taking a lure and moving it to elicit the behavior. But little dogs tend to be really difficult because they're already so low to the ground that they don't want to lie down. So come here, bub. And Mochi in particular, does not like following lures. He's just, he's he's like, are you trying to trick me into doing something? Come here, Bubba. So he tends to back away from the lure a lot. Hey, touch. Yes. So I keep trying to do some touch games in between. Touch. Yes. To keep him kind of interested in the game. Touch. Yes. Good. Good. And then another method we try sometimes is to try to get the dog to go for the treat by having to go underneath my leg. Um, so I put the treat on the ground and see if I can get him, or like, again, normally we would kind of pull him underneath my leg, but he's really not interested in following the lure. So, <clears throat> so none of this we've been particularly successful with. Um, Melissa and I have tried a variety of things. And yes. <clears throat> so the method we're going to have to use in order to do this is called capturing. Capturing is where we simply, it, it is not the fastest by any means method of trying this. It's where we simply wait for the dog to lie down on their own and we mark it, we say yes, and then we reward them. So the yeah. idea would be as soon as the dog lays down, you pair the word down and then the dog is, stays in the down and you reward heavily so that you start pairing that behavior with that word. But what happened was when I said down and I went to reach over, Mochi got back up and I don't really want to give the reward. Well, he's in a sit versus a down. So I'm stand, I'm like kind of hanging out here, waiting, waiting. And he never really went back down, but I would just keep at it. It's like one of these things. I mean, it's not the biggest deal when you have a small dog that they can't lie down on cue, but it is really helpful if we want to have a place, um, a place cue, like go to your bed and lay down or go to this spot and lie down and don't move. So work in progress. So what I decided to do, since if I really tried to lure him, he wouldn't follow the treat at all, 
was that I started to have him sit and then hand target right underneath his chin on the floor. And he would do that pretty readily. So the idea is what I want to be able to do is get his head on the ground without having his butt pop up because that's kind of the, the step to going into the down is put your head down and then your feet slide out. So I think we'll continue with that and see if we can get him comfortable just doing hand targeting with your hand basically on the ground right underneath his chin. And we'll continue with that for a while and see if we can get him into the down from there. Sort of a little baby steps.